I'm Margaret Killer and I live in Blogley in Little Bolton. Well, it was when I'd lost my husband and I was like a Toulouse send and because I'd been in with him all like 24 hours a day, I'd lost everything to wear and relying on my family. And so I can't keep doing this. Anyway, when I went to the doctor's, he advised me to see a speech with therapist, which I did about four times. And then he advised me to come here, which is, was great. And then it all dropped off again with the COVID and I was getting myself down again and dreading winter. I kept thinking, oh, I don't know, I'm going on with winter. And it, it was just in conversation to the receptionist when I said, oh, I'm dreading winter coming. Next thing, there was a message of my doctor again. And we started up again, which has been absolutely great. The very first time, I mean, I didn't know what we're coming into. You know, you think, well, what's what? Then it would begin to root. And uh, they had all these paintings up, and I said, You've done these, she said, The pupil. I said, Well, don't ask me to paint. I can't paint. I can colour my colouring book. Um, I can't paint. I'd paint my walls if I could. And uh, she said, No. And we just talked about what I am, so. She said, what? I said, I need company. So uh, she gave me one for singing. I said, well, I'm not into that. She said, well, I'll come with you and we'll stand at back, like, which was a friendly, yeah. you know. Anyway, she put me up to the luncheon club at the Guildhall. So we have lunch and we play dominoes on a Wednesday, which I love dominoes, but I do enjoy it. And I've met a new set of people who I didn't know and I'm getting to know now, which yeah. is nice. You've a, you've a lot of things to learn about each other, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. So I spend a lot of time with them now. It keeps, I know you're busy now, aren't you? Me, one of my granddaughters called, daughters called me a social butterfly now. We never know when you're in. Um, but I just can't believe when you get onto one thing, how many more things you find. Mm -hmm. I met someone who been on a coach holiday where I'd been and I just said who you got who do you go with thinking what company if it was where we went and she said oh I'm with some from the Monday class here and I said oh what's the Monday class exercise to music in chairs and went whoa <laughs> yeah I said can anybody go she said yeah and I'd seen Charlie in between and she said oh, we'll find out for you so when I went up the Monday after they were there waiting for me yeah and such a lovely group of people, so yeah. friendly. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to Blackpool on the 7th. Uh, we're going for a meal and a cabaret, you know, coaching everything. Um, and then we're having another meal at Pine Tree together, uh, I think that's the middle of December. And I've also booked to go away uh, to um, Scarborough next year. With, and one of the ladies who I met on the Wednesday group said, do you mind if I come and share with you? And that's as long as I've known them, but, you know, I said, well, it's up to you if you want to. I don't have a problem. She said, yeah, we'll be all right, won't we? Fantastic. So it's just just going on and on. Yeah. And then I got back in my exercise class on a Friday, Thursday. So it's just... When, when we start our Wednesday lunches up after Christmas, I'll be out Monday. <laughs> I'll be out every other Tuesday, I'll be out Wednesday, I'll be with class Thursday, coffee morning Friday. Fantastic. Yeah. All because I just called it here and just, yeah. That's brilliant, isn't it? It, it really is, it really is, yeah. I don't really, mm -hmm. thinking, you know, uh, glad to just keep saying, why don't you go out? So go out where, where do you want me to go? Because I give my car up, where do you want me to go? So they were like, well, just go out. But I've lost my friend who had known since I was 15, 16. I lost her last October. So every time I came on Warden, we met up because she was always on here. So that was another thing that had stopped. Um, so I just weren't going out doing anything. You know, it was just, uh, oh, I hope when the kids call today, I, I won't ring them and ask them. And then my son is there. Are you all right? I said, no. of course I am, of course I am. He said, no, you're not. I said, well, don't ask me then, because you'll get the lot of it. So he was doing what he could, coming down as many times as he could in a week, um, taking me shopping, um, doing my garden, 
Um, yeah. And I just felt there was so much on him, really. Yeah. What a difference it makes if 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 you do if if you sort of come in here and you take on what's going rather than thinking oh I can't do that I can't do that if what you need to do is be wanting to get back into some kind of a life and and I'm there for it put my name on put my name on <laughs> put my name on yeah yeah.